So in January, the CDC issued a health alert for an outbreak of pneumonia of unknown etiology, unknown cause. And by January 17th, um, our DHEC infectious disease experts and others were full on planning for what might be headed our way. We were monitoring information coming out of the CDC, created a web page to provide information to providers and the public, and began monitoring returning travelers from high risk areas. Since early March, our staff has worked around the clock, along with our partners in all the communities, to protect residents from the effects of COVID-19. And for months now, this effort has been going at full steam. Despite a few weeks when we experienced a decrease in cases, we have to continue to work to achieve that sustained downward trend statewide. DHEC is working with our federal, state, and local partners to continue to monitor all the latest data and trends, not only in South Carolina, but nationally and worldwide. And as Mayor White said, what we're seeing is concerning, very concerning. We're seeing increases in case numbers, hospitalization rates, deaths, in most states across, this, across the nation, as well as in other countries in Europe where they had very successfully brought the numbers down. Right here in Greenville County, there have been more than 17,000 confirmed and probable cases, with more than 1,600 of those reported in the last two weeks. That means that almost 10% of the total cases during this pandemic in Greenville County have occurred just in the last two week span. I wanna let that sink in for a minute. Those numbers are headed in the wrong direction. That's not what we wanna be seeing. Additionally, 350 Greenvillians have died from COVID-19 since this began, and each one of those deaths represents someone's loved one. Our concern is particularly heightened as we enter the cold and flu season, and based on what's going on elsewhere nationally, we do anticipate the increases in COVID-19 cases in our state. However, we can all make a difference to minimize that. It's critical, especially in Greenville and other parts of the upstate, that we act now to alleviate these further surges in case numbers, hospital rates, and deaths. And to do that, we keep doing the same things. Wear a mask, do social distancing, limit your gatherings indoors, and get your flu shot. Each of these measures is critical to keeping us all healthy. And the last of these, getting your flu shot, has never been more important than it is this year. We recognize that these are the same things that we've been urging time and time again for months now and that people are tired of hearing about COVID-19. But think about the first responders, the community partners on the front lines, like these gentlemen here, who, although exhausted, are continuing to work day in and day, not, day, in and day out to keep us safe. We can't give up now. We especially have to stay alert during the coming holidays. Begin making your plans for this year's holidays now. Do smaller group gatherings, celebrate outside rather than inside if the weather allows, practice social distancing, and most importantly, or very importantly, wear masks at all times if you're not eating or drinking. First holiday is Halloween coming up this weekend tomorrow, and we recognize that everyone wants to do the traditional trick-or-treating in large groups and haunted houses and costume parties. But unfortunately, a lot of these activities are high-risk activities because they include that close person-to-person -person contact and interaction with people outside of your household. So we want to continue to remind South Carolinians, including Greenvillians, that there are safe alternatives for celebrating. Do drive through events, um, One Direction haunted trails, outdoor pumpkin patches, and creative methods for handing out candy. We also recommend getting tested at least once a month if you're out and about in the community. And consider getting tested before you're with your family and friends over the holidays. Even after you've tested negative, it's still important to follow the strict prevention methods of wearing a mask, social distancing, avoiding crowds, and washing your hands. That's because keep in mind each test is just a snapshot in time. So testing negative today doesn't mean that you haven't already been exposed, maybe unknowingly, and won't become positive you know, in the next day or those to come. And while getting tested is important in reducing risk, just be aware that a negative result prior to your event does not guarantee that you won't be infected and contagious at the time of the event. We can't test ourselves out of this pandemic. 
Until vaccines that prevent COVID-19 are widely available, we must all remain vigilant about doing these tools that we know are effective in slowing the spread. Again, wearing masks, social distancing, hand washing, avoiding group gatherings. A recent study found that mask wearing alone ooh, by 75% of the U.S. population flattened the projected uh, incidence curve and reduced infections by 37%. So 75% of people doing effective mask wearing brought case numbers down by 37%. In the meantime, we are working with many of our partners to help South Carolina prepare to effectively and equitably distribute the vaccines once they become available. We know the toll that this pandemic has taken on each and every one of us. It can be a bit much at times, but remember that people across our state and here in Greenville are still committed. Then you know the fight's not only worth it, but it's winnable. Together we can get through this, and South Carolina and Greenville and the upstate it will be stronger and better for it, but we must double down on our efforts now. Thank you.